In fact, that's one of the great tragedies of our day is that most people are not getting ahead because number one, they're working too hard. I'm not a big believer in hard work. Uh, I know I've, I've done talks sometimes to corporations and uh, uh, sales managers will be looking on in horror as, as I'm saying that, that maybe your problem is you're working too hard. You should never work too hard. You should always work smart, not hard. It has nothing to do with hard work. It has to do with your consciousness. It has to do with your beliefs. It has to do with your thoughts. Uh, that is what is going to create your reality. What's the downside of overwork? Because I know there is one. Well, I think there's a lot of uh, downsides to overwork. Uh, number one, I don't think it's a lot of fun. And, uh, and I'm distrustful of any life that is not joyful. Uh, and when I say joyful, it doesn't mean that you're, you know, suddenly going around in ecstasy every moment of every day. But I mean, if you have, if you're, if you're working these long hours under all kinds of stress, what kind of uh, quality of life is that? I mean, you, you, you have to insist that your life has, has, has joy and fun in it. Uh, so I think the downside of too much work is, number one, it, 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 it doesn't give you quality life. And the second downside of it is, uh, is that when you're working too hard, you're not going to get good quality ideas. And one of the things I teach is how to tap into your intuition and get ideas from your your subconscious mind. The intuition is one of the vehicles that you use to tap into your subconscious. And there are hundreds of absolutely fabulous, great ideas to help you make money, to help you uh, succeed, to help you uh, achieve your goal that you would never ever find simply by running in your conscious mind the same old information. You have to go into your subconscious and get a whole breath of, of, of new life in, 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 in your day-to-day -day life. And when you do that, you suddenly all these insights and brilliant ideas start sparking. So this doesn't happen when you're working too hard. And sometimes I, I say to people that, uh, uh, you know, uh, you're, you're working so hard, you probably won't be successful. And, uh, and they sort of look at me all stunned like, but it's absolutely true. You must give yourself good quality time and honor yourself. It's interesting because one of the things that we use in the Success Tracks coaching program is um, a time system that involves people taking freedom days. And a freedom day is a day where you do absolutely no work in any way, shape, or form. Very important. And um, often people say, but I love my work so much, I don't want to take a freedom day. And I think that you're really reinforcing that the benefit of that is when you get away from work and let go, it, it actually gives the, the creativity and the intuition a, a time to to go deep into your subconscious and really get in touch with some of the abundance of ideas and, and uh, thoughts that are down there. Yeah, well, it was Albert Einstein who said, uh, why do I always get my best ideas in the shower? <laughs> you know, I mean, it's just like, just even that little time away. And uh, I'm, uh, I'm a big believer in, uh, in uh, you know, having time where you just reflect and think and get away from things. Well, and if we're still talking about the, the downsides of overwork, you mentioned earlier on that really we... Our lives, our minds are resonating at a certain frequency. We're going to attract things that are at the same frequency. And if we're in that frantic, stressful place of overwork, it's not going to really attract the right quality of things that we want anyway. Absolutely. And it's also uh, showing somewhat of a lack of self-respect for yourself and, uh, and a lack of self-image in a way. I mean, it's almost like you're saying to yourself that, I have to work 16 hours a day in order to be successful. Well, how come? I mean, I mean, you are a, a brilliant human being. Uh, there are thousands of opportunities. There are staggering opportunities to make money out of there. There are staggering opportunities to be successful out there. I mean, uh, uh, why do we have this erroneous belief that uh, I have to work constantly in order to be successful? Uh, now, you will find, and, and I've made, uh, uh, when I wrote my uh, book, Money, Success, and You, 
um, it was quite interesting that uh, when I was in my manuscript form of that book, I, uh, I sent the, the manuscript to about a dozen of my friends who were financially successful. And, uh, and, and what was interesting is I made a list of them. And by financially successful, I meant as a net worth of over a million dollars. And uh, as I made my list, I, uh, something very interesting came to me. I realized that every single one of those people made their money in areas that they loved. I mean, one was in home renovation, another was in publishing, another was a jewelry wholesaler, another was um, a, a clothes manufacturer, but every single one of them made their fortunes in things that they loved to do. And it got me thinking, uh, has anybody ever made a great deal of money by doing something that they don't love? And you know what? I couldn't think of one person. Great question. You know, I mean, I mean, not only people I know, but but out there in the world. I mean, Bill Gates didn't say to himself, "Oh, I wonder how I can be the richest man in the world." Oh, I think I'll get into computers. He got into computers because he loved it, and that's one of the secrets of success as well. Is find something that you love to do, and then of course, if you love to do it, not only are you going to be more successful at it, but you're going to have more fun in your life, and fun and joy is is one of the principles that I teach. Right, so you win both ways. You win both ways. I'm thinking also about the um, the overwork and going back to the very pr first principle I think you mentioned to us was trust the universe. And, and my thought is that one of the reasons that people um, kill themselves working so hard is because they simply believe there's not enough that they're going to fail um, and they're, they're living in fear of scarcity and, and they've got to work so hard. And the other perhaps is... Um, uh, belief that um, there's not enough they're not safe unless they have power and they're not okay unless they have power so they have to be successful in order to be okay that way so either way it's not really trusting the universe not at all I remember one time in one of my seminars I had someone and uh, I really like people to uh, clearly define their goals because it is one of the maxims of mind powers is that you must know what you want before you can get it uh, uh, and uh, and so this person was saying, um, uh, I want to be the richest man in Canada. And I thought to myself, okay, well, that's interesting. And uh, I questioned him further, and I said, well, why do you want to be the richest man in Canada? And he said, so I can prove that it can be done. And I just thought, well, what a weak reason to do it. Uh, I mean, that's the, the, I mean, the beautiful thing about life is that we get to choose whatever goal we want. I mean, isn't that wonderful? The whole free will. Everybody lives their life in a different way. Everyone can have different goals, different objectives, different definitions of success. We get to define it in our own way. But to, to, to need to do that just to prove he could do it, I thought was showing actually a little bit of um, uh, lack of self-confidence in, in himself. Uh, and the same thing in our life is let's examine why we have these goals. Uh, and, uh, and when you examine them, sometimes you find that your motivations aren't as true as, uh, as we initially thought they would be. So uh, you don't want to end up, uh, like the old saying goes, to be the man who ends up climbing the ladder of success only to find that it's uh, up against the wrong r wall, you know. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not done it yet, and don't forget to click the notification button. I hope you guys learned and enjoyed this video. Thank you, and have a great day.